Hey, you miscast miscreants, and welcome to another episode of Miscast. I forgot. The fucking list. News. It's news. News. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Into the chopper. Say hello to my new friend. I'm going to make him an offer again. This is my You're going to need a bigger boat. Hey, you miscast miscreants, and welcome to another episode of Miscast with your hosts, the wonderful JJ, the magnificent Greg C., Hello. and yours truly, William Davis Moore. This is our Miscast News Program, the program where we bring you the news that's old news to the industry, but new news to you. And if you're new to the show, uh, together we have a combined 30 plus years experience as film critics, or old, film writers, film app creators, film book publishers, and side cinematographers. Just generally movie nerds, you know. Generally, generally, just a bunch of geeks. And if you're also new to the channel, then head on over to our channel and check out some of our past episodes where you can uh, watch those and get all caught up. While you're there, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so that you can be notified of all of our epic content weekly. All right, so I'm going to throw it to you, Greg. So uh, what is up in the news? What's news? What's news 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 to you? What's What's news news to us? What's going on in the world? What's news? It's not necessarily brand new news, but anyway. It never is. So (laughs) we're going to start off with a little Star Wars action here. Everybody loves Star Wars. JJ loves the Star Wars. Biggest fan ever. I know. I've seen all seven, eight, nine movies. Something like that. I've Uh, seen all all seven to nine movies at this point. Seven to nine. That's a good... He likes wearing his Darth Vader helmet. Darth Vader helmet. Yeah. I, have a, I own a <laughs> Darth Vader helmet. He does helmet. own a Darth Vader helmet. Yeah. yeah. I bought it on Amazon for 20 bucks. <laughs> All right. So we've got some Star Wars news to start off with Ooh, here. Cool. I know. Juan's I love Star Wars. Juan's excited about this one. I've seen seven or eight of them. Seven. There's at least seven to nine movies. I've seen them movies. all. I think I have too. Um, so apparently there was a spinoff movie uh, that just got canceled. Uh, it was going to take place on Tatooine, and there's speculation that this was going to be the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie that uh, recently Ewan McGregor said he has no knowledge of what's going on. The guy, poor guy gets hounded by questions. There's no, there's no plans as such to do it, uh, as far as I know, but I've been, it's so funny, I've been asked this question for years and years, it's... and I've co- I would be happy to do it. I think there must be a good story to tell. Hello there. Hey. Hello there. Hello there. Um, oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, and you recently said something that I didn't know about was that there might be thinking about casting uh, a different actor for an upcoming Obi Wan Kenobi movie. Yeah, so I was watching and uh, John Campia does like video blogs every now and then, and I was on his channel. I saw that he was talking that they there might be a chance that they they just make a new casting for intermittent uh, Obi Wan. So you have Alec Guinness, old Obi. Uh, you have um, Ewan McGregor, young Obi, and then a middle guy is going to be cast. Could you imagine? Perhaps. Could it's you just Im- a rumor. It has yeah. no bearing in anything. But could you imagine the explosion on Reddit? It would be a gigantic shitstorm yeah. if Shit, Ewan yeah. McGregor is not in this yeah, movie. Yeah, it would yes. be such outrage. The people from prequel memes are going to just oh, shit on everything, everything, and they will shut down the internet. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it Talking about breaking, McGregor needs to break, break the movie. internet. Break Forget the Kim internet. Kardashian, this will do it. Fuck Kim Kardashian. Like, this would be no. treason. It's yeah. treason, yeah. then. Yeah, it is yeah. treason, then. So, it's treason, then. Yeah. So, um, so this uh, 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 news that this canceled spinoff was going to take place mostly on Tatooine comes from uh, production designer Neil Lamont. Uh, and said uh, he said basically it would have featured Tatooine and a bunch of other new galaxies. Well, no, Tatooine, how boring new is galaxies? Tatooine? At uh, Tatooine point? is just a desert. Apparently, it's they were so going to show some other places that we haven't seen before. We've seen Moss Eisley. We've seen Moss whatever there was in Episode One where they had the races. Th- there's look, it's a galaxy so far away. I they know. Could, Go so to many some new planets. planets. Show yeah. me, show me something new. Show me something cool. Yeah. 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 Don't show another damn Tatooine movie. Another no, desert. No, 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 no. And no. Jakku <laughs> in episode seven was just basically a stand in for Tatooine. It's the poor man's Tatooine. Yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. It wasn't even a poor yeah. man's Tatooine. It was just like I, I'm Here's already ripping desert. off the entire first movie. When well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. From, from a production stand perspective, it's a lot cheaper to go out and film in one of these locations where yeah. it's a desert yeah. than to film in some. We just like, go to Eastern forest. California. Well, yeah, if it's, it's a forest, they're probably going to go to Canada or something. Well, they did it in Jedi. Was all California too? The Redwoods. Okay. It's the Mojave right. Desert right there in California. Yeah. yeah. So is that the Mojave? Or? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know. I'm bad with geography. Hey, so why don't you comment below and see if that is yeah. actually is what it, that desert? What called? desert? <laughs> there is the Mojave Desert. We don't know. So I mean, there uh, are dunes. <laughs> so so that's pretty much it. I mean, there are other spinoff movies. Uh, there's a Boba Fett movie coming from uh, James Mangold, the director of Logan. There's a new trilogy from Ryan Johnson, director of Last Jedi. Which I don't know if anybody's really too super excited about that. There's a new series from uh, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, the guys who uh, ran Game of Thrones, the showrunners from that. Okay. I'm excited that, about which that. Hopefully sex. The, yeah. Jedi sex. Oh, man. That, oh, can Flo you imagine Floating all of it? I've already imagined it. Uh, uh, okay. You better take off your mask. All right. <sighs> I've already I'm, imagined you, it. You've seen those movies on... Uh, on uh, one of those sites. Yes. Porn up. Yes. I've seen one of those uh, porn <laughs> Star Wars the parodies. movies. Okay. <laughs> and I like it. I like what I saw there. You, you know what's great, you know, is sand gets everywhere. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. It's rough it's and it's, it's coarse. And it gets it's, oh, I and hate it. It gets everywhere. I hate it. <laughs> Fucking hate sand. Nudity with so, sand. So, yeah. Cracks. So, so that's what we got coming. Oh, and the live action TV series from John Favreau. I'm excited about that. I am, I am too. This new, and then there's this new cartoon that's coming out on Disney, which looks a little too kiddie for me. It, it looks very well done, but I'm not a Poe Dameron fan. And, uh, yeah. Absolutely not. He and it, it looks so childish that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm done with childish cartoons from Star Wars. Uh, Rebels started to push the limits. Yeah. Clone Wars pushed the limits. Yeah. I want to see more adult uh, themed yeah. cartoons from Star Wars. Uh, definitely. Uh, I, I wonder. I don't know if we'll ever get it, though. With the Clone Wars. Right Clone so. Wars. No, no. Now with that new streaming service that I'm telling you that new Clone Wars is going to be geared toward adults. It's not going to be geared toward mm, kids. I don't know. I have my doubts, but the, I hope the, so. The people that were the fans of the Clone Wars are all grown up now. Yeah. And those are the base. Like, you got to play to the base. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. so. <laughs> all right. So. Slap the base. But Disney's not known to play to the base. So. No. 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 Suck at the base. Yeah. All right. They're no less clay pool. So, what are you, so what's, what's next here? Uh, you got the notes. Oh, you, I got the notes. You're, you're running this yeah, show. Okay. So, what's, what's, so what's next <laughs> here? All right. So next up, we got uh, Netflix. Everybody's all up in arms because they think uh, Netflix, it, he's got his <laughs> arms up. He's got his arms up. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Netflix. Yeah. yeah. My it, Netflix experience is going to be ruined by. Uh, oh, no. So everybody thinks that Netflix is going to be inserting uh, unskippable ads into the middle of their shows as they're binge watching their favorite show. Which is Netflix has come out and said, no, hey, that's not the case. What we're doing is uh, we're testing out a new thing where if you're binge watching a show in between the episodes, we'll play a little promo uh, specifically geared towards your viewing habits and uh, for a recommended show that you might like. And uh, you can, in fact, skip these little promos. So, but everybody's going crazy about this. For good reason, because if they put ads in Netflix, it kills it. I mean, well, Hulu... You're Hulu, paying a subscription fee. Well, right, that's that, why, to but, not have ads. Well, but what's no. going to happen is they're going to charge you more to not have those little bullshit ads now. Right. But $2 they, more. Right. The, pr the thing that happens is everybody charges you. Cable charges you. Uh, Hulu charges yeah. you. Netflix charges well, you. It's going away cable but TV now. But they're... Hulu went ads out the ass. Yeah. Like so bad that That's I, I stopped Hulu. watching yeah. Hulu. If Disney follows that same trend, they're going to already destroy their streaming service before it even gets started. Netflix, the only thing it's got going for it is there are no ads. Yeah. It's straight up. You get a subscription and you get your content and that's it. We're not trying to fuck with you. Yeah. If they do that, uh, they're not going to lose people, you know, because their content's too good. Right. But they're definitely going to. Is gonna it though? Pit it, yeah. It is. It is because a lot of people are cutting the cord. Yeah. And that Netflix good is enough, the, I guess. Netflix is the main reason right. that they're cutting the cord. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, cable's going down. You know, oh, they yeah. need to change their model. So then you're not going to lose Netflix people. But what people are going to start doing is like looking for an alternative. And it's not a good idea to do that 
when you've got Disney coming up your ass. Well, like, so this is the thing that you are actually losing Netflix people. Netflix is losing subscribers because there are so many competing Amazon so, and to the point where they decided that they're going to abandon their review system. Mm-hmm. Netflix had a really good review system, which was like a five star system. Right. And then they said, OK, well, too many people are giving too many of our shows negative reviews. So we're just going to have this sort of like thumbs up, thumbs down bullshit. And they decided to um, they decided to abandon that as well. Right. Oh, so it's not even a thumbs down, up, thumbs down. Well, they're gonna still have that, but that's kind of that's kind of pointless. Okay, the, okay. The, the main reviews that people would write about the shows, right. that's all gone. gone. They actually just deleted over ten years of wow. reviews. Wow, that's Be- unbelievable. Because they guess free what? Up some server space, I guess. Ninety over ninety percent of the stuff on Netflix is garbage anyway. Mediocre at best. Mediocre. So if you're if you're a new subscriber, you go on Netflix, you get it, and you realize, damn. Most of these shows are garbage. Most of these movies are garbage. So why am I subscribing to this? Mm-hmm. Deleting all those reviews makes sense to Netflix, but I think really sabotages the, the viewer experience. All right. Yeah. No, I agree. I, I agree with that. I, I, I want to see what other people have to say about, you know, extinction right. or whatever it is, because that's how I can judge whether this is really a... W- worth my time. Worth my time, because... So far, a lot of their original content has been me, meh. So imagine now you go on Netflix, you see a movie extinction, extinction. Oh wow, this looks really cool. Let right. me let me let me watch this thing, because all the reviews are gone. Right. So you think it's you I think it's decent. Fifty per fifty five percent thumbs up or whatever it is. Right. But luckily, we reviewed that shit and we said it was kind of like a mediocre piece of crap that you right. shouldn't watch. So maybe you should kind of. You should watch that. That's uh, the reason go to back and watch that uh, that episode. Yeah. <laughs> And subscribe. Indeed. and subscribe and so. subscribe what's next all right so <laughs> next we want to talk about uh the director of american history x tony k mm. he has cast or is casting a robot in the lead role of his new movie an android uh, or a robot a robot or a, a, a synthetic a, 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 a synth yes okay. no so it's a uh, so he wants to cast a robot in the lead role of his new movie second born I believe that's what it's called, Second Born. And uh, it's an indie comedy. That's what it's described Sounds as. Sounds hilarious. Mm. <laughs> Let me honest. tell you. Do you tell me? This is a plot synopsis that <laughs> okay. we're getting. And you tell me if it sounds hilarious. Right, I'm ready. Okay. Rub your nipples. All right. So it has to do with a young married couple that goes through some complications during the first pregnancy. Oh, fucking that forces hilarious. forces their families to come together. <laughs> I, uh, hilarious! Wow. I know, man. I'm I'm running to the theaters for this one. Rolling on the floor, cop. I don't, I don't know where the robot comes in with this one. Does is it like uh, uh, Battlestar Galactica where they have babies with the robots all of a sudden? Holy shit! What's man. the Robin Williams robot one? Is that like? Oh, what is he that? He comes one? in to save the marriage. Bicentennial. Bicentennial man. man. Yeah, I yeah. love that. I movie. had jury duty, and they played that all day long in Damn. the waiting room. They hated you guys. Yeah, they played was, Secretariat for me. You're lucky, man. Oh, it was. <laughs> it was like it was Bicentennial, man, and then it ended, and then it was started back over again. So yeah, so apparently this artificially intelligent robot, they're gonna train it. Whether that means uploading it, a la Keanu Reeves in the Matrix, with some. Kung Fu. Mm, I know Kung Fu. I know. He knows Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Um, they're going to uh, train it in different acting methods so that it'll be ready for his uh, big screen premiere. I hope they train it in the Daniel Day-Lewis method I where like, you just like that. rent a hotel room <laughs> and you're just a robot for like a month. And anytime somebody, or something. anytime somebody knocks on the door, you're like, "Oh, I'm a robot. I do nothing." <laughs> very method. Yeah, very like very supreme method. method acting. I would like to see Daniel Day Lewis play a robot just for that. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. That would be awesome. I think you guys are missing the fucking awesome part of this, though. Wait, what's that it's, part? What is, the awesome? what is that part? They're training uh, AI to act. Like literally, yeah, it's let's, been the let's... fear of actors since motion capture has yeah. come along. Uh, Simone was a movie that touched on this entire freaking thing, and now it is actually a reality, which a we all knew Simone. was coming. Hey, uh, uh, um, Dunk Dunkachino all the way. <laughs> 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 like, um, 
I think it's I think it's amazing. I hope this uh, AI does a good job. It, the AI, look, everybody takes for granted AI. Yeah, you're shaking your head. But no, you, that's you, an awful idea. No, you I, I use think it's, AI. I'm with, on the, you, with JJ on this one. You use AI and interact with AI on a daily basis every time you play a video game. Yes, so but why not is it any AI. different? It, it is. Have you seen those Boston Dynamic videos? Oh no, 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 oh, not, they're scary. Where you, they, they have these <laughs> robots that look like dogs or they look like dudes, and then. There's this other scientist who's They're like bashing weaponized. him on the head yeah. with a bat or like knocking him down. <laughs> These fucking robots are remembering like all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. They're going to come back. They're, They're going to get pissed every off. Strike. Yeah. And now we're teaching them to act. So they're going to be like, they're going to like feign the sort of sympathetic yeah. attitude. And then one day they're just going to fucking kill us. And then we'll be in the fucking yeah. matrix. <laughs> so will this robot be able to distinct, uh, be able to distinguish pretend from reality? It, it, it'll create this algorithm where it's just intended intended to fuck with us. Yeah. I mean, that's that's all it that's is. That's what you're teaching. Get it. rid of humans. Get rid of humans. Kill all humans. Where's that universal basic income? You know? I don't know. The actors are going to need that. I, soon, I don't know. The technological singularity is another entire conversation. I'm just talking about a dude, a, a, a robot acting. <laughs> right, so. yeah. I don't want it. Just kill it. Just shoot Best it. Best actor goes to... You ever seen the video? or the, TK421. Oh yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you ever seen the video though where those uh those uh, DARPA robots uh, I think they're That's DARPA. what he was talking about, the Boston the, Dynamic thing. Yeah, they walk through the door, they open the door yeah, and they yeah. walk through and then yeah, that, that second that. one comes behind it and you're no. like, "Oh shit." Yeah. Like, no, no, burn them all, <laughs> shoot them with the shotgun. Yeah. Just just don't. That's not Quell go there. the uprising before right now, it happens. Right now, right yeah. now. Kill all the robots. Kill all robots. Oh man, let's war. It's war. I love robots. So all when right. you're killing all humans, just remember I said I, I'm on your team. <laughs> I'm that douchebag from like Battlestar Galactica that's on your team. That's right. <laughs> and so finally we have. Uh, 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 well, that's that's it. That's, that's the it? show. That's the oh, show. That is it. Okay. That that's the show, guys. That's the show. Fuck all robots. Fuck all robots. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good end. That's a good note to end on. Yes. If I see you robots on the streets, I'm going to fuck you up. So get out of my way. Damn. He's our, uh, our uh, John Connor. That's going up by the balls now, don't we? Come on, let's book. Uh, J.J. Connor. J.J. Connor. No, I want to be more like Woody Harrelson's character in Zombieland. Oh, all right. We or like, you or a like hat. I go to my pickup truck, I pick like a cool tool to destroy a robot with. You want Twinkies or what? I'm What's your snack of choice? I'm going to Twinkie right up like the robot's hoo-ha. <laughs> do they have hoo-hahs? <laughs> well, how do they reproduce? Well, you got to build a hoo-ha. It's not programmed yet. If a robot built another robot, would it make a hoo-ha? Well, I wouldn't mind a robot hoo-ha. I mean... I'm sure they're around sure you Japanese <laughs> robot hoo-ha, hoo-ha's all over. Oh, yeah. That, it, it, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it a is thing. a thing. So. All right, guys. So that's, so that's it. That's the news to you. You want to close news. out the news? Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Like. R ring that bell. Hey, ring that bell. Do all that good stuff. Like. Like us. Like. Follow us. Tell go, your friends and family. Go back. Watch all the previous episodes over and over again. Yeah, just become obsessed with it. I Buy our stuff. Way. Check out our miscast uh, merchandise. Yes, oh, we have merchandise. Yeah, that's we'll right. That's that. right. Uh, so uh, we have a, a store now, a storefront online. It's, uh, it's on Teespring. Uh, link below. Check out our miscast merch where we put up new designs all the time. Uh, you can get basic designs. You can get premium designs. You can get crazy designs. Ooh. You can get mugs. You can get tote bags. You can get... We can't do hats yet, but it's in the works. But you can get all kinds of awesome T-shirts, so hook it up. Yeah, it goes towards a good cause. Helping Let, let's us, not uh, say can't. Let's say won't. Helping us upgrade won't. this show. Can't we won't, do, we won't do hats right now. Yeah. We won't <laughs> do hats right now. We could do now. hats if we wanted to, but we're not yeah, going to We're not do going hats. to. Yeah. Actually, it'll be Who too expensive. Anyway? It, <laughs> if we did hats, we'd have to jack the price up. The way it is now, you guys get a good deal. Uh, I'm going to throw, just because you said that, I'm going to throw a promo code down below. So... For oh, three three days after this episode's air ep episode airs, there will be a promo code down there. Oh if you do God. that, you'll get ten percent off. So what we have that m kind of money to spare? That we have that kind of money to spare. Wow! I'd wow. rather get one dollar than no dollar. So that is true. Go. That way we can replace that clip that you broke over there. So. <laughs> Okay. In the previous episode, I'm rather close. Or maybe, maybe another set of new mics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we All have right, new mics. Yes. Oh, let's talk about the mics now. No, let's not. No, let's not. We've done that before. There's three new phallic symbols for you guys. Oh yes. Oh. Beep beep. Stop I love it. my bones. Stop it. Stop mm. it. No means no. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. And subscribe. Ring the bell. Check out the merch below. And just generally check us out on social media. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. Peace. Peace.